Voters go to the polls in Italy next week to choose a new parliament. Political parties held rallies today ahead of the national elections on March 4th. As Seth Doan reports, a far-right anti-immigration party called Casa Pound is on the rise in Italy and hoping to have a new voice in the new government. Food is distributed to the needy by this Italian political party, which is also providing services like cardiac checkups. But this is no left-wing group, rather Casa Pound, a far-right anti-immigrant political party that's building support among voters like Roberto by offering services for the unemployed and the poor, as long as they're not foreigners. We have a lot of immigrants in Italy, yeah. a lot. It's possible for the economy of the Italy to sustain this. Casa Pound blames hundreds of thousands of illegal migrants from Africa for contributing to Italy's economic woes. They see themselves as fascists. And in a scene reminiscent of World War II, Casa Pound supporters recently filled a Rome street doing the fascist salute. Simone Di Stefano is the party's candidate for prime minister. He doesn't want to return to the dictatorship of Benito Mussolini, but pushes the Italy first nationalism of that era. During the years Italy was governed by fascism, it was a world power and took a leap forward economically, he said. Alarmed by the rise of the far right, protesters have rallied against groups like Casa Pound, which has seen its membership rise. This parliamentary press conference was a first. Casa Pound is more commonly associated with activities like this, supporters in red vests kicking immigrant vendors off an Italian beach. When you talk to a lot of Italians about Casa Pound, a lot of them say, those are racist thugs. It's simply because they don't know us, Di Stefano said. Casa Pound has already won some local elections and for the first time has candidates on the ballot nationwide. The party is stepping in to provide services while it argues the state is looking the other way. Seth Doan, CBS News, Rome.